All right, so let's go through today's price action. Bit of a daily recap slash uh, trade recap because I did end up taking uh, one trade that I ended up breaking even on. Uh, so we'll talk about that. <clears throat> so coming into the to today, it was a little tough because I was bullish and I still am on the higher time frame. Weekly objective, I want to see this previous weekly high get taken. And if you go to the daily, this morning, I wanted to see we were trading higher than we are now. I wanted to see this previous daily high get taken. That was more of the intraday goal, if anything. Now, that being said, what I didn't like was when I went down to the lower time frames, like the four hour, and I was seeing, right, liquidity that had not been taken yet. We had not taken liquidity yet. Um, so what I had was I had liquidity and a bias that were not in alignment. Um, so I don't, tr I don't like to trade in environments like that. If I go to the one hour, you'll see even better how, how much liquidity was here. So what I said before market open was realistically, what's most likely going to happen is we're going to take this high and then come for these lows. And that's what we did. Okay. But I couldn't, I wasn't trying to take a trade in an environment where my bias is bullish on the higher time frame and I'm taking a sell. I don't like to trade against my bias. Um, what I will say, and something to document, and it's happened multiple, multiple times, liquidity is definitely king. If I have a bias telling me one thing and liquidity telling me another, nine out of 10 times, maybe even 10 out of 10 times, liquidity is going to be taken, regardless of what the higher time frame bias says. Um, that was the case today. Like looking at the chart on the weekly and the daily, I was thinking we're going to be bullish. But then when I go, come down and I see where liquidity is resting on the four hour, the one hour, the 15 minute, I was bearish based on liquidity. And I was right to be. Uh, so anyway, you see we got a nice sweep on market open. And we started to fall and I was looking for just a demo trade and I couldn't even get filled with a demo trade because you see, we left fair value gaps. We were so bearish. We were just leaving them. Never came back up into any anything. All right, none of these were filled. Doesn't matter the time frame. This almost filled me. Almost. Didn't get me though. Um, now, I did win on a demo trade. So what I did was um, my first take profit would have been here at the data lows based on news, All right? So that would be my first take profit. And then my second was here. So what I did was I said, okay, we still haven't reached my low here. I'm okay with a one-to-one. -one. So I'm going to get in off of a limit order if we tap into this fair value gap here for a one to 1.2. And that was the trade. Um, so that was the that was the sell that I took on a demo that would have been a winning trade. I didn't take it on a live account because again, my higher time frame bias was bullish. So it's tough for me to, to uh, take a sell, but something to recognize. Liquidity is king. Trust liquidity more than anything else. Now, after that happened and we swept, I was bullish. We took all this remaining liquidity. Um, however, because we were so bearish in the, in the way we went towards that liquidity this morning, I wasn't looking for, you know, some crazy move. I just wanted to see us if we could come back into the premium of the dealing range from the lows. 
So I was looking for any opportunity from here, midpoint of the Fair Valley Gap on the four hour. I was looking for any opportunity from this level to get into a trade. Now, you can make the argument. For this, under the lows. In hindsight, maybe that's a good trade I, I could have taken. The reason I didn't take it in that moment was because, look at the lows here. I That was not appealing to me. I don't like seeing stuff like this. A trade I ended up taking was here. In the two minute. And as you can see, I made the right decision to break even because we got one, two, three, four, five candles consolidating near my entry. When that happens, I take my losses, I take whatever, maybe it's a you know pip or two in profit, whatever. I take it. On the chin, that's it, done, trade's over. And you can see I made the right call there because it would have been a, a loss. Um, however, again, looking back, this would have been, oh, actually, let me see something. Yeah, this would have been a nice trade here. Below the lows, boom. And you see how we reacted off of the dealing range there. All right. <clears throat> Came up to the 15 minute fair value gap above the dealing range premium. And yeah, so that would have been the only trade that I would have taken on a live account that would have played out. Again, the reason I didn't take it was because I was being maybe a little bit too anal about wanting a perfect trade that's fair that's a fair uh, criticism um but i didn't take it because as you can see we we're leaving equal lows which i would have counted for with my stop loss like i would definitely would have had my stop loss like this underneath the uh fair value gap i would have had it like this but still i didn't like the idea that we could leave this and then come and sweep and then go. Again, fair criticism is to say that I'm being a little bit too anal with trying to find the perfect trade. Because um, that was a decent opportunity there. So something to make note of. Um, but again, like I'm, I did a excellent job calling what I wanted to see price do and it did exactly that uh, two times today so yeah good to see that like obviously that's a confidence booster like I I fucking I I, I really am getting good at, at um, you know predicting where price will go um and how it will react off of certain levels, so that's good. Just need to execute a little bit better. But once I was in that one trade, I did a good job to manage it. I followed my trading plan, happy with the day overall. So, yeah.